here is question 2C. So uh, this is all the information that we've been given. We've got been a whole pile of stuff here. So we are talk they're talking about um, recording whether the um, shoppers have young children with them, whether they what products if they buy any product that's on the shelf, and how long they spend at the supermarket. So we've got three different variables that we're being asked about. So we could do this as a probability table, as a tree diagram, or as a Venn diagram. Um, I'm going to choose to do this as a Venn diagram, um, partly because I've got lots of counts I can see there, um, and I prefer that over um, the, the table, so for this particular, for three variables. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and you can see here I've got the next slide set up, then I'm going to put this information together into my three circles. Now let's just remind ourselves there are three different variables here. We're talking about whether or not they've got young children. They're talking about whether they buy anything on the shelf. And they're talking about how long they are spending at the supermarket. So just kind of skim reading ahead, um, they often talk about whether they spend more than 30 minutes at a supermarket. So that's going to be my guide for um, the length of time that the shopper spends at the supermarket. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump over to my diagram and I'm going to say the three categories in this case is whether or not they have children. Okay, so that's my first circle. I'm going to have another one for whether they buy any products. And the third one is whether they spend more than 30 minutes um, shopping. So let's then have a look at the actual information. So we're told that we have 435 shoppers observed. That's going to be our total number. So I'm going to go to here and I'm going to put a big box around this whole thing. Um, and I know inside that total box there, I know my total has got to be add up to 435. Okay, so I'm just putting a little note there. That's what it's got to add up to. Okay, let's have a look what's next. We are told there are 60 shoppers that had young children, bought products, and spent more than 30 minutes. So this is looking at the intersection of all three of these sections. Young children buying stuff more than 30 minutes, and there are 60 people in this category. So that's my intersection and all of them. So right in that middle section, there are, what's the table three? There are 30, is it 30? 60, goodness. Let's try that again. We've got 60 people that are in that intersection of all three. So I usually start from either the center out or the outside in. So in this case, I'm going to go from the middle and work my way outwards. So that's that one done. Tick, dealt with that bullet point. Next one. 86 shoppers have young children and bought products. Okay, so 86 young children and bought products. So we have um, got children and buying products. So we're talking about this section in here. That that whole section has to add to 86. Alright, because that's the combination of children and buying stuff. So if that's got to add to 86, and this little piece in here is already 60, then 60 plus the 26 is going to be my 86. So I've got 26 going in here, and then that adds to my 86. Okay, done that one. Tick. Next one, I've got 62 shoppers. They bought stuff and spent more than 30 minutes. So there's 62 buying and more than 30 minutes. Okay, so buying and more than 30 minutes. So these are two circles, buying and more than 32 minutes. So that's talking about this combination here. And that combination has to be, there are 62 people in that group. So that's got to add up to 62. If I've already got 60 in the middle there, that means there's two that fit in the other part of it. So I'm going to have two shoppers that are in that section. That one's done. Tick. 
Okay, next one, I've got 129 shoppers that bought products. Okay, so 129 that brought products. So that's talking about this whole circle here. Okay, all of that in total has to add up to the 129. Okay, so that circle adds up to 129. So I can add up the pieces that I've already got. So I can add up my um, 26, I can add up my 60, and I can add up my 2. Combine that together, and that's going to give me 88. Okay, so those three together make 88. Um, and it's going to, the whole circle has got to add up to 129. So 129 minus 88 is going to tell me how many are left in that group. And that is going to be... 14, no, 41 in that category. Okay, so I've done that one. Tick. On to the next one. 32 shoppers had young children but did not buy any products and did not spend more than 30 minutes. Okay, so they've got young children but didn't buy product and didn't spend more than 30 minutes. Okay, so they have young children. Okay, so that's talking about the have young children, but they did not buy and they did not have 30 minutes. So that is referring to this section here. It's not, they're not talking about the buying. They're not talking about the more than 30 minutes. So we're not talking about any of those groups. We're just talking about the children themselves. Okay, so have young children. So that section, how much was it? Was That was 32. So I can put a 32 in this group there. So I've done that one. Tick. Then I'm told 154 shoppers had young children with them. So in total, there are 154 that had young children. So that's referring to this whole section there on children. That has to add up to 154. I've got my 60. I've got my 26. So that gives me 86. Plus I've got the 32 there, which gives me um, 112. So then I'm going to subtract that from the 154, and that's going to tell me how many are left um, in the section here. And so when I'm looking at the children and the 30 minutes, this section here has go is going to be 36. Okay, done that one. Tick. Then last one here, 14 shoppers spent more than 30 minutes but did not have young children and did not buy products. So more than 30, not young children, and not buying products. So 30, but not buying children, not buying products, that's talking about this section in here. And they're telling us that that section is 14. There are 14 people in that category. So we're going to put our 14 in that category there. Okay, now I've dealt with that one. The only thing that I haven't done is I haven't dealt with our total of 435. So if I now add up all of those numbers that I've got down in the circles, um, and then I say, right, some number, that number minus the 435 in total, that's going to leave me with 224 people that don't match any of those three criteria. So I'm putting that 224 on the outside of the object. Okay, now let's go to the question itself. So we're told, calculate the probability the shopper did not have young children, did not buy any products, and did not spend more than 30 minutes. So no children, not buying, and not spending 30 minutes or more. So that, in fact, is talking about our 224. So we've got 224 people who didn't meet any of those three criteria out of the 435 people that we have in total. 
So I can write that as a probability and say the probability of not have, having, um, having children, not buying and not being more than 30 minutes, that is my 224 out of my 435, or if you want to write it as a decimal, 0 0.515. Either of those answers is acceptable.